Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Tinkercad circuits on an iPad. In this case we have an iPad Pro. This is the 11 inch iPad Pro from 2018. It's got the smart keyboard and uh, we also have a mouse as well and that's going to be quite important because we need the mouse if we want to use Tinkercad circuits. Now, um, just to kind of drive the point, if I go to Tinkercad.com Tinkercad.com is a really uh, good website that you can use uh, to, if you want to create virtual Arduino models and uh, little bits of code that goes with the models. The problem is it's it's not natively supported on an iPad. Okay, so, um, well, let's go to Tinkercad right now. So I'm actually filming the screen. I'm not uh, recording the screen with any software. So I'm just directly filming the screen like this. So I need to sign in. So I need to sign in with my Google account. Oh, excuse me. Right, so let's, sorry, I've got to change the Chinese to English. Okay, just give us a moment. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put in my uh, email address and password. So just give us a moment, hang on. Right, here we go. So just wait for that to load. Right, so in Tinkercad, we have this thing called circuits. So we go into circuits and we create uh, a new circuit. You can see there's a couple of Arduino projects. This one's still loading. So we're gonna click on create new circuit. And this is Tinkercad circuits. I do, I believe I have a one or two videos of this on my YouTube channel. Uh, this one is just for using it on an iPad. So let's say for example, you've got Microbit as well, which is quite nifty. So you can, you know, you can scroll up and down and stuff, but the problem is when it comes to moving the components, let's say for example, we have this Arduino board, okay? We can't actually tap on the screen and start moving stuff. Uh, we need to have a right click, which, which we don't have. So uh, it, it doesn't, it's not fully supported on an iPad, you see, and it, it just does not work, right? I mean, yeah, you've got the breadboard there, but then you can't move it around. You can't add the wires and so forth. So it just does not work out. It's not practical at all. So what we need to do, how do we get past this? Well, what we have to do is, um, well, let's just get out of this. Let's go back to the main, uh, the previous uh, screen. Okay, let's uh, swipe out of this. You need to have a mouse, okay? So you need to connect a mouse. You can either use a Bluetooth mouse. This is the Logitech Pebble, uh, Bluetooth Logitech Pebble, or you can use a conventional mouse, but because, um, well, the iPad Pro has a USB Type-C connector, on the side, which you can uh, you can plug in a, a dongle or something. So there's a USB wire. You plug it in. Okay. What we'll do is let's um, plug in the mouse for this uh, this Bluetooth mouse. So if we turn this thing on, right, flashing blue light. Let's see what happens. Right, yep, it wants to pair, so uh, press the pair button, and any moment now you should see a small circle. So we have connected the mouse, yep, just like that, you see? Okay, the other option, of course, you can use the conventional mouse, but you'll need to have the dongle to convert the USB-A to the USB Type-C. So uh, there's the mouse right there, and all you have to do is just plug it in. Right there, okay? And if we just move the mouse, sorry, it's black on black, so, uh, right, yeah, you can see it a bit better now. Sorry, the cable's such a mess. Okay, there we go, and you can move it like this, and you can, you can swipe up and swipe around, okay. Now, oh, sorry, this dongle's quite tough. When you plug it in, it's hard to take out because it's not an official Apple one. It's a third party from another country. Okay, now let's get the Logitech Pebble Mouse. Okay, good, completely wireless. Now we're gonna go back to Tinkercad Circuit. So we're gonna go to Safari. You can use Google Chrome if you want. And um, let's just, for intents and purposes, let's create a new circuit. 
Okay, so we click on it. Yeah, very simple. So what I would do is I would choose, let's say the Arduino board, and I can move it around with my mouse by default. And if I used my finger, I can't actually select it and move it around. But if I use the mouse, I can move it with no problem. It was really weird because at first when I plugged in the mouse, I could only move the board and move the components uh, if I had a uh, right mouse click. But now it seems like the left mouse click is working. It's working really well. So let's give this a try. So look, if I... Okay, what we do, let, we want to delete that component. So if we click this, just press the uh, delete at the top and it's gone. Keep in mind, this will not function 100% the way we would normally say, um, if we use this on a Windows computer or a, a Mac OS computer, um, there may be one or two functions that are missing, but I have yet to find out what they are. <laughs> All right, so what we do is uh, just grab that and we can grab ourselves a breadboard as well. Okay, you can move the breadboard into the right place just to make sure this thing works. It is, it can be a little slow moving the breadboard. Mm. Don't move it around too much. Yeah, see this, this one seems, okay, we've got that in there. Yeah, there was a bit of slowdown, but okay. Now let's find uh, an LED. Okay, there's an LED right there. Okay, so we're gonna put that in. Uh, let's have a look. Normally, I would expect to say, use the mouse scroll up and down to zoom in and zoom out, but it does not appear to be working. Uh, all it does is it just scrolls the window up and down with the rubber band uh, effect. Um, I think there, there is a zoom function somewhere. I just don't know where it is. I thought it was on the screen, but in any case, let's just, just keep working. All right, so press the left mouse button just to move this around. And, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it's far better with the mouse and it's a lot more functional now. So we're gonna plug up the positive rail and the negative rail. Okay, uh, we can change the color as well. So we'll make that black and we'll make this I apologize if you can't see what's on the screen. Um, maybe if I move it a bit closer, it might be better. So five volt will be red. And uh, we do need that resistor. Okay, so we get that in there and we'll make it 220 ohms. And bear in mind, I only have an iPad Pro. I don't have the regular iPad and I don't have the previous generation iPad, so I can't give you a full diagnostic of all the iPads. I am only showing you this 11 inch um, iPad from 2018. Okay, so I apologize, I cannot speak for all the iPads. Okay, so we'll just put that in. Okay, and uh, yeah, oh, hang on, what have I done? Right, I'll uh, we'll just... Okay, so short leg is negative and long leg is positive. Okay, I don't normally do my Arduino uh, projects like this, but okay, we'll just right click. Yeah, I've noticed there's a slight bit of slowdown. Maybe if I try it later, uh, it might uh, be a little better. But anyway, we'll give that a try. So if we press start simulation, yep, it lights up. Yep just like uh, you would if we had physical Arduino components. All right, so there we go. That is using Tinkercad circuits on an iPad. It's not fully perfect, but it's far better once we have the mouse um, function. And uh, this is iPad OS 14.3, iPad OS 14.3, just for uh, more intents and purposes. Okay, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you again soon. Thank you and goodbye.